we're gonna need a pair of dumbbells and later on we're gonna need some chair or something that we can elevate our foot we're gonna have bulgarian split squats okay first thing as we usually do we mobilize warm up and then start with our workout so we're gonna do that nice and easy catch a breath i hope you have some towel water dumbbells and a bench or chair whatever you're gonna need it okay so let's start we're gonna go nice and tall down hands on the ground and hips low we have inchworms so we're gonna do around five repetitions tall and again we mobilize control the movement don't rush get a good stretch we are around three down crawl back four and we do five so few words about our class so next one when we go down we're gonna end up in a hand plank from hand plank we're gonna bring left foot next to the left arm then from here back leg is gonna be nice and straight we're gonna take that left arm slide inside the shin and open up five times so first block 30 minutes strength then we have two blocks as many rounds as possible it's gonna be a bit higher intensity so this is five hand down switch sides same thing opposite and then we're gonna finish with a high intensity tabata workout it's gonna be 20 seconds work 10 seconds rest and eight rounds four minutes in total so we should be somewhere around five and hand down foot back and we're gonna crawl in our deep squat so from our deep squat we're gonna slightly shift the hips left and right if your heel is up doesn't matter just focus on this deep position and try to keep your back a bit more upright so gently swinging left and right mobilizing after a few swings we're gonna go knee over toes so push the knee on one side and then switch so rather than just swings like previous one focus on a good ankle mobility and ankle flexion if you start getting tight in your quads feel free to stand up shake the legs okay so a few more seconds and again we're gonna go okay let's stand up most of us are probably tight in the quads then we're gonna drop down again this time we're gonna go in a rotation so left arm right ankle support your shoulder into knee and rotate good stretch switch sides six in total three on each side and easy last one and relax okay and next one we're gonna place the hands on the ground in front of us go up keep the knees straight bring them slightly closer and kind of a walk switch sides back leg straight front leg curled and few reps good stretch on the hamstrings we have elephant walk that's how it's called and relax okay catch your breath so first thing we're gonna do is gonna be strength block we're gonna have three exercises and we'll be working for 40 seconds resting for 15 and we do them three times so let's get to know the exercises together okay so do them with me as and again we can potentiate for the movements we're going to be doing and get to know them first one we're going to do front lunges in a squat so we're going to go lunge one side lunge opposite back squat lunge lunge and squat after this we're going to go in a staggered push-ups so our hand is going to be hand position is going to be staggered here so from here we go down same like all the push-up exercises we can do from the feet we can do from the knees and we can be quadruple so staggered position one hand in front one hand slightly more back and then from here press up switch press and switch one more time and remember knees or quadrupled if you have to and the last exercise is going to be single leg glute bridges so we're going to go on the ground in a glute bridge position from here we're going to bring one foot one ankle on top of the knee heel nice and close lift the hips as high as you can and down 
So try a few times, switch sides, and we're gonna start with our workout. Two, and maybe one more, three or four, easy reps. And now we know the exercises for our first block. So let's start doing them. If you want to, you can always overload the lunges with the double dumbbell in a goblet position. So if you have one, feel free to take. I'm going to use it for the first block. Okay, three, two, one, and we go. Lunge, alternate, back and squat. From front. And again, we are in our strength block, so we don't need to rush. If you need, you can slow it down. Don't follow my tempo. You got your own tempo, so dictate it. Don't crash. Sustain your activity. Almost there. Five. Three, two, one. Shake. Next one, we have that staggered push-ups. One side, press, switch and press. Let's prepare, we got five seconds. Two, one, press, switch sides, press. Try to go chest in the ground. If you can't go chest in the ground, means it's too heavy, then you're gonna do it from the knees. And again, if you still can't go chest in the ground, you're gonna do it quadrupled. Less than halfway to go. Again, slow it down if you have to. On top, catch a breath, down and up. Two, one, relax. And last one, single leg, glute bridges. If you want to, you can always also take some weight on the hips to make it harder. So ankle on top of the knee and we work. 20 seconds one side. On my mark, we're gonna switch sides. Bring that hips as high as you can. Squeeze your glutes, hamstrings and down. Control the movement. Three, two, one, switch sides. Same thing opposite, straight away. We got no rest between sides. Only 20 seconds work. Inhale down, exhale up as you press. Two, one, and relax. We go back in a lunge to squat. Again, if you want to, dumbbell in, overload or body weight. Completely up to you. Starting round two, one, off we go. Lunge, switch, back, squat. Lunge, switch, squat. Keep up with your pace, your own tempo. Keep the back as upright as you can. Less than halfway to go. And three, two, one. Catch your breath. 15 seconds in between. We go in a staggered push ups. Okay, five to go. Three, two, staggered position. Hips up. Press. Switch. Now again, when you go in a staggered position, don't be too far up or down. Just maybe palm distance more up. We got 15 seconds. Almost there. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Glute bridge, again, if you want to, 
take a dumbbell on the hips, it makes it slightly harder, or do the body weight. Ankle on top of the knee, two, one, and off we go. We're gonna bring the hands over the shoulders if you are working without the dumbbell. This way we're not pressing from the ground when we go up. So we're focusing on the hamstrings and glutes. Three, two, one, switch sides. 20 to go. Now don't get me wrong, you can place your hands on the ground. Just make sure you're not pushing to lift you up. What you're pressing from is gonna be your shoulder blades. Two, one, shake. Okay, we go up and we have one more round to go. Then we take a light break. Five seconds. Two, one, and we go. Lunge, alternate, squat. Lunge, switch legs, and squat. For the lunges, keep your squat width in the feet. We got 20 seconds to go. This is our last round. Then we take a light break, go in the next block. Each block, nine minutes of work. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, staggered push-ups again. Palm distance, not too far. Five to go. Three, two, one, and press and switch. Again, if you can't keep up with the tempo, press up. Two, one, take a two seconds between the reps. We are in our strength block, not a high intensity one. So we should be able to sustain our activity. Almost there. And three, two, one, relax. Okay. Let's finish with the glute bridges. Then we take a light break. Okay, five to go. Down, ankle on top of the knee, and we work. Hips nice and high. Don't push through the hands. Press through the heel of the foot that is on the ground. Bring the hips as high as you can, then lower them down. Three, Two, switch sides. And same thing from the opposite leg, through the heel, hips as high as you can, squeeze your glutes and hamstrings. That's what we're working here. Maybe a bit lower back, not so much as hamstrings and glutes. Three, two, one, and shake. Okay, catch a breather. One minute break, then we're gonna, again, do the exercises in our block to warm up for them, just to get to know them, and we're gonna start working on them. Okay, it's gonna be second round of the strength block. So, let's get ready. We got 30 seconds to go. Light breather, still resting. around 10 seconds, then we do the exercises. Few reps, just to get to know them. Ready? Okay, so let's give it a try, just to see which exercises we'll be doing. First one, knee up, from standing position. We're gonna go right foot down, up, or right leg, and then left. So the leg that is going down is going up first, then we switch, down, that one up. Okay, next exercise is gonna be renegade row. We're gonna take our dumbbells, go in a hand plank position, feet wide, from here, we're gonna be rowing. Simple one, try a few times, 
and then last one is gonna be single leg RDLs. For this, we're gonna place the whole weight on one foot, back leg behind, just for the balance. From here, straight leg, straight back, hinge and up. Okay, when you go down, don't push the knee to front. Keep your leg straight. Try the same thing on the opposite side. And we're gonna start with the workout. Okay, now we know the exercises. We have knee up, renegade row, single leg RDLs. So let's give it a go. We have round two, strength block. Knee up first, nice and tall. I'll guide, so we're gonna start with the right foot. And off we go, right down, right up, left down, left up. Now, if you mix it up, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you work both sides. If you have different tempo, that's okay. Also, we can catch a breather when we are on top. Don't rush, keep the core tight, try to limit the swings. So at certain point, we have almost like a single leg squat. Two, one. And relax, take your dumbbells. We go in a renegade row. Same thing like a push up. We can do it from the feet, from the knees, or quadrupled. Let's give it a go. Hand plank, feet wide, pull, control. If it's too heavy, you know what we do. Knees down, straight, trunk. If it's still too heavy, Push back in a quadruple and roll. 20 seconds. Exhale on the pull, inhale down. Keep the dumbbells close. Don't flare them out. Two, one, shake. Okay. And the last one. Single leg, RDLs. Okay, let's get ready. Whole weight on one foot, back leg, just for the balance, off we go. 20 seconds, one side, then we're gonna switch. Keep your back straight, leg on the ground, slightly, slightly bent. Try to keep it straight. Three, two, one, switch sides. Same thing opposite. And as we were saying during the previous session, we time, once we get better, once we have more strength, we can lift the back leg. Just make sure you're not losing the balance. We're not training for the balance. Two, one, relax. We're not training for the balance, we're training for the strength. We go knees up if you want to, always overload. Dumbbell, goblet position, two, one, right down, right up, left down, left up, left down, left up, right, right, left, left. Now we might struggle a bit with the coordination in the beginning, the more we do the exercise, obviously, the better we're gonna become at it. 10 seconds. Five. Three. One, relax. Renegade roll. Round two. Dumbbells just below our chest. Close in the middle. Three, feet wide, two, one, hand plank, start the roll, kick that elbow high, try not to swing from the hips when you're pulling, I know I'm exaggerating the movement, but just for you to see what I don't want you to do, keep the core as tight as you can, 20 seconds, if you have to, from the knees, make it easier, it doesn't matter. Just keep on working.
We got five, three, two, one, shake. And we go in a single leg RDL, finishing round two. Strength block, foot behind, whole weight on the front foot, and hinge. If you remove the back foot, you're still holding the balance. What I don't want you to do, I don't want you to push behind, then go in this. So, front leg, single leg, RDL, three, two, switch, switch sides, same thing opposite. When you go down, you get a good stretch in the hamstrings. So full range of motion, as low as you can go. Two, one, shake. Knee up, if you want to. Dumbbell, goblet position. Three, two, one. Right down, right up. Left down. Okay, I'm gonna stop counting which leg goes first. You try to do on your own. Think of it. If I don't have the dumbbell, what I usually do, I place my hand on the working leg. Down, up, down, up. Almost there. Seven seconds. Two, one, and relax. Okay, let's finish this third round. Keep it strong. Renegade row. We know the movement. We know how to make it easier. Two, one, off we go. We know how to dictate the tempo. Two seconds, breather between the reps if the heart rate is up too high if you can't sustain if it's too much from the knees 20 to go almost there we rest after single leg RDLs Three, two, one, shake. Okay. So, let's finish with our single leg RDLs. Three, two, back leg, hinge and up. So, whole weight on the front foot, working our hamstrings and glutes. When we go down, Good stretch in the hamstrings. Three, two, switch sides. And again, back leg, just for the balance. Two, one. Shake, catch your breath. Second round done. Nice work. So, as we did previously, catch a breather, slightly heart rate down, and we're gonna go into last block. For the last block, we're gonna need our chair. So, take the chair, bring it somewhere close, we're gonna learn the exercises once we start. It's gonna be in 15 seconds. Okay, first one we're gonna do is gonna be our Bulgarian split squat. Again, we'll be doing 20 seconds each side. So you're gonna position your foot on top of the chair, okay? Make it so that the toes can wiggle. Don't be too far behind, okay? Toes can wiggle. Slight, slight split. The best way for you to know is to drop down and see how low you go, okay? When I'm down, let me set up for my position. 
it looks good, maybe foot more be up. So notice my lower leg, it's almost parallel with my trunk, okay? And up. So single leg movement, controlled, and we switch sides. Give it a try on the opposite side. And again, notice the position of the leg and my trunk. That's our first exercise. Then we're gonna go in a hand plank rotation. Hand plank, feet slightly wider. Simple one, rotate, back, switch sides. And the last one we're gonna do is gonna be bicep curl into overhead press. We take our dumbbells, we go bicep curl, overhead press, and down. Really simple, okay? So, let's give it a start. We go into Bulgarian splits, eight seconds, let's prepare. Back leg on top of the chair, and three, two, one, down, knee in the ground, up control. You can always overload again with the dumbbell in a goblet position, but for now, try body weight. Then the next round you can overload and switch sides. Same thing opposite. So first one, always check the exercises. Again, don't be with the foot too far in front or too far behind. Best way, drop down, find the position, work from there. Three, two, one, shake. Take 15 seconds. We go in a hand plank rotation. Okay, let's prep. Feet wide, hands, and work. When we are in a hand plank, we always stack shoulder, elbow, wrist, straight line. Work from there. Don't be in a pike, hips nice and low. Again, not too low, straight line. Control the movement. Twist from the trunk, don't turn around. Five seconds. Three, two, one, shake. Nice work. Let's finish the round one with the curl and press. Bicep curl into overhead press. Dumbbells in. Two, one. Hammer position, curl, press, and back. Control the movement. Keep the core tight. Don't swing. Again, I'm exaggerating just for you to see better what I mean. No swing, tight core, no jerk to push it up, control, down. Easy, negative control, down, lock the elbow, bring it back up. We are working on our bicep, shoulder, two, one, relax. We are working our biceps, shoulders, and triceps. Okay, Bulgarian split. Foot back. One, off we go. And again, notice this parallel position of the lower leg and my trunk. Leaning to front, they are straight. And we're gonna do one more, switch sides. Same thing opposite. Back leg, it can wiggle. So just the toes on the chair. Three, two, and shake. Hand plank rotation. Same thing like all the movements from the ground. We can do it from the feet or from the knees. And off we go. Shoulder, elbow, wrist stacked. Don't be in a pike. 
control hand down don't just drop when you go down control it don't rush leave that rushing for the last three blocks almost there three two one shake okay finishing round two bicep curl overhead press dumbbells in two one and we work curl press tight core straight back if you have to swing you have two heavy weights what you're gonna do then either take the lighter weight or single dumbbell if you don't have the time to switch you can work same movement one dumbbell keep working almost there three two one breathe okay last round of strength bulgarian split squat let's get ready three two one off we go and again the more you do the better you become at the movement if you're losing the balance doesn't matter just focus whole foot on the ground pushing from the leg that is down and switch sides try to tap the knee in the ground usually what we do is we use the chair that is around our knee height chair bench whatever you have and shake okay we're gonna push the chair because we're not gonna need it anymore at least not for today we go in a hand plank rotation three two one and start 40 seconds controlled and again twisting from the trunk not from the whole body so don't rotate like a hand plank control the movement almost there two one relax Whew. nice work last exercise bicep curl into overhead press three two one off we go tight core every exercise is a core exercise a few words which muscles are we working bicep on the curl shoulders and tricep on the press so full arm workout there are not many exercises that are using the full arm this one is one of them five three two one and relax nice work our strength block is done rest the dumbbells catch a breather maybe around one minute and then again we're gonna get to know the exercises that we'll be doing them next for the next block we're gonna have as many rounds as possible for six minutes two blocks okay each block has four exercises again now we're gonna start working together but at certain point we're gonna split because we have different fitness level okay don't try to follow my tempo you dictate your own take it slower take a break if you need five ten seconds doesn't matter just kind of be able to sustain 
the exercises that we're gonna be doing, okay? So, let's get to know the exercises and the number of repetitions, okay? First block, we have four exercises. We're gonna be doing 10, 20, 30, 40. That's the number of repetition. Now, let's get to know the exercises. We're gonna have first one, 10 reps, V sit, overhead press. V sit, overhead press. 10 reps. After this, we're gonna go in a jumping split squat. We do 20 reps. Split position, and we jump. After this, we're gonna go into twist, formerly known as Russian twist, okay? We're gonna grab the dumbbell in, feet up, and rotate. Again, when we do the twist, don't just drop the dumbbell on the side, get a good trunk rotation. We have 30 twists, and we're gonna finish with the 40 high heels. Hands behind, kick the heel in the hand. 40 repetitions, okay? Just a recap, 10 V-sit press, 20 jumping splits, 30 twists, and 40 high heels. Again, go by your own tempo, don't follow mine. We have different fitness levels. We're gonna split. You're gonna be counting your own reps. Okay, so let's start. Six minutes of work. Dumbbells in. Three, two, one. Okay, we go. We sit overhead press. Give it a start. Now, our goal is to go as fast as we can, but we should be able to sustain our activity. Count your reps, 10 V-sit press, 20 jumping splits. Then we go in a 30 twist. Thirty twist, good trunk rotation. Count your reps. And we're gonna finish with the high heels. And that's our round. We do as many as we can in a six minutes frame. Whew. One minute, 30 seconds in. So we might do a bit more than three rounds. Again. Take it slower if you have to. Speed it up if you can. Your own tempo. Don't follow my reps. I'm talking, so I might miss few repetition. Count yours. Jumping splits and twists. Ooh, heart rate is going up. That's what we want. Just make sure to sustain your activity. Don't crash. Take it slower. Take five, ten seconds breather between each exercise. Thirty twists, forty high heels. Whew. That's a tough round. And we go back into 10 V sit overhead press. 20 jumping splits, 30 twists, 
and 40 high heels. Less than halfway to go. More specifically, two minutes, 20 seconds. Ooh. Nice work. To go. We're gonna rest in two minutes. Ooh, nice one. Keeping up. Just work. That's our goal. 30 twists after splits. Keep it up. Keep it up. Slow it down if you have to. Just try to move for six minutes. Almost there. Last minute. Knee down in high heels. Thirty seconds to go. Try to keep it up. Almost there. Few more seconds. Five. Three. Two, one, shake. Nice work. Take a breath. Ooh. Low down the heart rate. Deep breath in, deep breath out. A bit of water. Now don't drink too much. You might start getting sick. So just sprinkle a little small sip Oof. that was a good block nice work we're getting close to an end around 15 minutes till the end okay we got 15 seconds then we get to know the exercises for the next block we get to know the repetitions then we start and again we split because we have different fitness levels. Some of you might even be faster than me. Some of you slower, doesn't matter. Our goal is to keep working with the high heart rate. Okay, let's see the exercises. We're gonna have snatches with one dumbbell. We're gonna place the dumbbell in the middle. From here, grab from the hinge, keep your back straight, dumbbell close and up, okay? When we're pulling the dumbbell, almost like we want to throw it up behind us and elbow first punch it up we're gonna have 10 snatches then 20 plank jacks for the plank jacks we go in a hand plank stack shoulder elbow wrist give it a try feet together close and wide one rep is wide close that's one and two three we're gonna do 20. after this we're gonna do 10 bottoms up we take a dumbbell, grab it between index and middle finger, tap the ground, bottoms up, 10 reps, and we're gonna finish with 20 glute marches. So glute march is our glute bridge position, hips are nice and high, from here we march, okay? After a few reps, bring the hips high, because they're gonna be dropping down, we don't wanna keep them down, we wanna keep them up and high. Okay, so I think we know the exercises. We got 
10 snatches, 20 plank jacks, then 10 bottoms up, and 20 glute marches. Okay, too much talk, let's work. Six minutes, starting with the snatch. Three, two, one, dumbbell close, punch it up, switch. Three. Ten total. Six. Count your reps. Elbow first. Punch it up. Ten snatch, twenty plank jacks. Hips nice and high. Straight. Don't be down. Don't be in a pike. Straight line. 20 reps. When we are done, we go in a bottoms up. 10 reps. Back straight. Count your reps, dictate your tempo, take a breather in between if you have to, 10 bottoms up, 20 glute marches, hips high, hips high still, And that's it, we go back into snatch. 10 reps. Alternate arm. Keep the back straight. Keep the dumbbell close. Elbow first. Two minutes in, four to go. We might do three rounds. Again, if you need, slow it down, up and down, slow on the pull. 10 snatches, 20 plank jacks, 10 bottoms up, 20 glute marches. Ground and up. Squat down. Don't hinge. Use your knees. Twenty marches. Ooh. Again, dictate the tempo. You don't need to follow mine. You can take it slower if you have to. Remember, our goal is to work for six minutes. No matter how easy we make some exercises, it's all good once we have our heart rate high, 80-90%. 20 marches, we go back into 10 snatches and again if you need five seconds 10 second breather between each exercise explode up like you want to throw the dumbbell up or kick someone with the elbow behind you. Let the elbow guide the movement. Ten snatches, twenty plank jacks.
and bottoms up. Getting close to an end. We have less than one minute to go. Last round of the tempo training. Then we got a small finisher. 10 bottoms up, 20 marches. Almost there. We got 20 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Nice work, catch your breath. We got one last round to finish with. Our last round is gonna be Tabata, which means 20 seconds work, 10 seconds break, eight rounds. Four minutes of work. For this one, we need one exercise that is high in intensity. And that exercise is gonna be mountain climbers. Okay, so let's give it a try just to see mountain climbers. I show you different variations, so it's up to you which one you use. The hardest one on the ground, we run easier one we go in a skips or go in a kicks now if you cannot sustain this you can take that chair do the run from the chair slightly easier if that's still too intensive hands on the wall push the wall so many variations choose the one you can do okay or start with the heavier then make it easy towards the end. All right, four minutes and then light cool down and we are done. Okay, this one, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be rough. Okay, so again, dictate your tempo, move for 20 seconds, rest for 10. Okay, we are starting in 10 sec 15 seconds. Let's prepare. Last round, Tabata and mountain climbers. Three, two, one, off we go. You know which one you do. Maybe start heavier, then go in an inclined from the chair. Go in a kicks if you need. Three, two, one, shake. Light breather, small one. Four, three, two, one. Off we go. Keep it up. Five, three, two, shake. Five to go. Three, two, one. And run. Remember, make it easier. Go in the kicks. Switch the wall. Switch the chair. Five. Two. One. Shake. Oh, I got a cramp. Easy. Oh, again a cramp. Two, one, off we go. Keep it up. Three, two, one, breather. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Keep
keep it up. Five, two, one, shake. Five to go. Three, one. Last round. So much work behind us. Five, two, one, shake. Almost there. Everything is in sweat around me. Two, let's go. Round seven. Go from the wall. Three, two, one, shake. We got one more round. Do it from the chair if you have to. Three, one. Whew. Last 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Oh, relax. Ooh. Nice work. Okay. That was a good finisher. If you made it through, nice one. Ooh. Catch your breath. We're gonna go into our stretch in few seconds. Good work. Okay, let's start stretching. Start from the legs since we were doing the leg last. One foot in front, toes up, stretch the hamstrings. Straight leg, one, and switch sides. Same thing opposite, leg in front, toes towards us. And relax. Next one, we're gonna sit over the legs, down from here. We're gonna bring the hands behind. Push the hips high, few seconds hold, hips as high as we can, two, one, and relax, sit on the legs, one arm over, stretch the tricep, pull from the elbow, two, one, same thing, opposite side, switch, three, one, and back into hands behind, hips nice and high. Push them up and hold. Nice work. Let's just stretch a bit more. Down, one arm across, pull from the shoulder. Two, one, switch sides, same thing opposite. We're gonna circle through the two more stretches and that's it. That's where we're gonna finish, okay? First one, cobra stretch. Hips low, chest up. Stretch the core, deep breath in, deep breath out. And then from here, we're gonna push back, sit on the legs, head through the shoulder, thumbs up, straight arms. Holding here, a few seconds, and one more time we rotate. So again, let's push the front, hips nice and low, chest up, and one more time back, 
head through, thumbs up, straight arms. Two, one, and relax. Give yourself a round of applause. Nice work. High five yourself. Excellent stuff. Okay. Thanks for training. And I hope you stay healthy and have a lovely day. Cheers.